Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. This is the latest in the Tough Problems series. In each one of these little talks, I present two composite questions that my clients face and my response to each. Dear Dr. Marty, a coworker and I are vying for an upcoming promotion to manager. Truly, I am much more deserving. He talks a good game, but he gets so little done, let alone done well. He's being considered for the promotion only because he's a gland-handing suck-up and because he has, let's just say, a, a demographic advantage. I've seen people like him get promoted over more worthy candidates, and that's irked me. But I would really get irked if he got that promotion. Here's my response. Yes, sometimes non-merit factors trump, but usually they don't. To increase your chances further, have you done these? Get a respected person to champion you. Write a note to your boss that enlists the accomplishments that would particularly motivate him or her to go to bat for you. Bolster your claim of eagerness for the promotion by suggesting one or more things you would do if promoted that would impress the decision maker. Show your stuff, for example. Be especially prepared to make useful contributions at meetings. <clears throat> If appropriate, send a draft of a work product that you're proud of to peers and your boss for, quote, feedback. And finally, dress as you would if promoted. Second letter. Dear Dr. Marty, I'm having to make my second presentation at work. At my first, even though I was super prepared, in fact, I wrote out and memorized my five-minute speech, I nearly fainted and did a bad job. Even though my boss made this one easier on me, it's just a two-minute report on what I'm doing, I'm scared to death. Here's my response. No wonder you're scared. Anyone but a trained actor will do poorly if giving a memorized talk. Just one moment's distraction can throw you off. And even if you're word perfect, a memorized talk is devoid of the crucial chemistry. If your audience wants just the words, you can send an email blast. You're giving a talk because done well, it's more engaging, even compelling. This time, just list your few main points on an index card. Practice ad-libbing your talk, using just the index card to keep you on track. Pretend you're talking to a friend. Be conversational. Record it on your phone and critique yourself. When you think it's pretty good, ad-lib it in front of a supportive but honest friend. Get their feedback. Do that, and I'll bet you'll do better, and you certainly won't faint. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments. I love it if you hit the share button below and share on your social media. That way my efforts have broader impact. And I'm flattered if you subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco.